What's good, y'all? Main man, Master Soul here, leader of the Master Knights of the Round Table. Mm-hmm. It's been company one. And it is time for us to talk about this show. Miracle, that's what I'm going with. She's called Miko, so I'm doing that. But as far as the show, when it comes to like Miracle, stuff like that, with the RU, SU, I don't know if it's silent or not. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, now, before I actually get into this show, a little bit of a backstory, a little bit of a way how I checked out the show, how things went down. Now, there's no sugarcoating at this point when it comes to me doing my first impression videos. I literally just do that as a video, and for entertainment with Shaw, to have a speak, a live stream to talk about the map with the Master Knights about anime. Because, you know, we like that. I started a lot there, I know. And I go on by saying that because, hell no, I do not remember the shows I talked about in that video. Until I've watched the show, okay? So, yes, running through this, I did remember there was a show on there talking about Supernatural. Mm. But here's the thing, right? I was reminded this show exists on Instagram. I did not say Twitter. I didn't say Tumblr. I said Instagram. Your boy got an Instagram too. Hit that up. Master Cell. I'm everywhere. But what I saw on Instagram was basically a homegirl Miko dealing with the supernatural stuff. Basically crazy things going on around her, around her friend Hana. We're talking about Adventures coming back. And when I was reminded of the show, I was like, hmm, maybe. But then today, today, I was on AnimeEpisode.com. And I went on there because I wanted to see when Jabba's Reincarnation came out. But it wasn't out yet. Then I also watched Even Though the Cosmonaut. That comes out after Jabba's Reincarnation. So I was just sitting there with guys left to watch. But episode three of this show came out. And boy, as hell, I just feel like watching anime. I said, fuck it. Not on some, I didn't feel like watching this show type thing. But it was kind of just like episode, new episode that dropped. Forget it. Just watch episode three. Just watch what's new. Just hit it up and see how you feel. Y'all know back in the days when we were just watching anime on TV instead of going to the internet for it, we did that to jump into a show randomly and see if we liked it or not. Adult Swim put me on Rick and Morty for some reason. Sometimes it's meant to be. And watching this episode, I got a lot from the show. Basically, it was her on the bus dealing with the prayer bees, dealing with her friend, and all that stuff. Character dynamics was obviously put in place, and I got a lot from what this show is and what this show is trying to be from episode 3. Then I went back and watched 2 and 1. And figure out the rest. With that being said, let's actually talk about the show now. This show with our main character, Miko, the pale skin, golden eyes, black hair with purple ends, them highlights. High school girl with a lot of attention on her legs. Her demeanor is kind of the silent, seclusive character. Not necessarily, you know, on purpose, I would say. Yes, that may just be her personality off jump, but here's what I got from it, right? Ain't gonna bullshit y'all. If I was seeing what her she was seeing, I would be the same way. Can I just put this out here? As I'm watching this show so far, Miko, you better than me. Talk about something. If I don't see it, it's not there. I don't react to it, it's not there. I couldn't do that at all. And excuse me for jumping around, but let's go back to episode one right quick, where I should have started, right? I don't know if that part was the first time this stuff started happening to her, but when she was going through it, man, that ghost was straight up all in her face talking about some can you see me. Now, episode 3 was one thing because, you know, it was just random stuff going on with the ghost at that point. Episode 2 was a whole other discussion. But episode 1, when it first came up and all that crazy stuff going on, like knocking on the doors, Swift is coming behind you, gusts of wind and all that stuff. Just for that thing to suddenly appear at the bus stop like that after your phone start acting up all in your face talking about, hey, can you see me? Look, I've been seeing you for all fucking day. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. I wouldn't even know what happened that, if, if I, that ghost girl asked to see me. It might haunt me for the rest of my life. I'm going to whole problems and all, whole, all, all, all kinds of stuff. But I couldn't do it. If it was me instead of Miko, it would have been over, y'all. Not even on a, me saying I'm a guy who scares easily. I'm not saying that. It's just that. I've been reacting on YouTube for damn near 10 years. I'm supposed to act like I'm not going to react to something. But seriously, Miko, got some balls. I ain't going to hold you. Getting more into this show, right? Episode 3 was a good place for me to start. Because then I watched 2 and then I watched 1. Yeah, I straight up went backwards. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here. And now I haven't gone on other sites and blogs and social medias to actually see what people think you know, talking about this show. I have not done that yet. But I can kind of get a gist of what the community is thinking. So here it is. The supernatural stuff is very well done. These abominations, atrocities, nobodies, whatever it is. I can't just call them ghosts. The spirits. The detail on that 
is crazy. Sound effects on that is wild. If this show gets an English dub, it might actually scare me. But move that to the side. And this show has every trait that you can think of for your typical fan service trash. Still skipping over episode two. We'll talk about that in a sec. But episode one. Now, let's just say it. Because I'm not trying to make this video too long. The first time outside the opening sequence, which was also very well done. The terror in this show is very well done. Uh, but... When things started acting strange and awry, like she, our girl Miko was hearing knocking sounds and started looking around like, what the hell is going on? Came, right after she pulled her panties down to pee. You know, bathroom scenes inside of horror films oh, do kind of hit. And let's just be real. You sitting on the toilet, this shit is happening. This is not a good time. But this is how you shows to start with your main character on the horror stuff. Like I said, I'm good. When it came to me watching episode three first. Because episode one, I ain't gonna hold you. That would have been off pitting. Off putting. Off pitting. The fuck? And then there was the whole thing with her pajamas and stuff like that. Also, her dude went over to pick up her charm and stuff. And her skirt almost lifted up then. And yeah, you know, through the pajamas and stuff, you can see the panty lines and stuff like that. I mean, I'll jump. If I'd be real, look how the show was animated. Look at just the character designs, the aesthetic of the show, and how everything just brightened up and stuff like that. That doesn't automatically screen your fan service. But, I mean, just look at the size of the skirts and all the stuff like that. Then you got Hannah working around. She's like, she shows up in the show, she's put them titties on Miko's back. And it's in your window, yes, but they know what they were trying to do, and they know they were trying to tell you what they're trying to do. You get fan service before you get the horror when it comes to the actual show. Like, if it wasn't for that intro, what would we be in Washington for real? Like with the pajama stuff, her bending over to get that charm and her in the bathroom. If I had to say, it was 60-40. 60% of the terror firing stuff. 40% of the sh episode one was about Miko's panties. Then came episode two. Straight up in the locker room. Straight up. Half naked. And Hannah's gonna come out in the next scene. That but she took her underwear off. Remember when I said that 64 in episode 1? Flip it. Episode 2 was 60 fan service. 40. The other stuff. If so. That nurse is going to come in there with the big ass tasting and shit. She fine. I fine. Fan service the show is done well. I ain't going to hold you. Then it came episode 3. No fan service whatsoever. And that's why I'm talking about it like this. When I went into this show and figured out what this show is for myself. Finally decided to hit up this show. There was no fan service at all. There was none. So... That was not the type of vibe I was on. Don't get me wrong, this show aesthetic, this show how goofy it was about to be. The terror and, f and stuff in this thing, or, what is it, like a thriller? It's coming. And it hits. It hits very quickly, actually. That's really what this show is about. It's just that the tone of this show doesn't suggest that, especially with Hannah running around. Which is very much common relief at the same time, you know. So we got a whole comedy here. And the thing is, I'm on board with that. I really am. When I was watching episodes, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Oh, mm -hmm. and, and outside the normal BS, to be real? Yeah. I mean, it was really just a, you look at it like a slice of life type show. We see just Miko going through this stuff and see how she's going to handle this stuff with occasional abominations running at you. Yeah. Yeah. This show actually does really good with that. And yeah, actually, I'm going to keep watching. It's just the way I watched it saved me. Because if I watched episode one, then episode two, I'm just like, I could probably find a better fan service show this season if I wanted to. And I really hate to say that because I'm pretty sure, like, when you when I'm watching for episode one to three, if you connected with the show through the fan service, that's pretty much the reason you're still here, right? I'm just throwing it out there. That's just a big selling point for the show, isn't it? This fan show is very well animated besides other shows with fan service in it. I mean, when we can pull down the draws, light blue. Mm -hmm. It was very much attention to detail to that scene. Very much attention to detail to the panties in his show. Like Hannah's panties with the pink panties. Mm -hmm. Even when Miko was next to her, she still, she was wearing it's still light blue panties. It wasn't the exact same panties, but she likes the light blue panties. And compare this to Ira the Cosmonaut, right? Ira the, the vampire cosmonaut. Compare this to her. Her panties are darker. The tone of that show is much darker than the tone of this show. So you think about it, darker panties suits Ira the better. While go Miko, obviously she needs the light blue panties. It's much better look for her. So... I say, is this the content y'all want when it comes to watching this show? This is the summit point of this show. That's what it is. So yeah, man. I don't know what's coming over me as an anime watcher. Because I've said this almost in every fall impression video I have done. And what I'm saying is, these shows define what they want to be right in the beginning. If not, they should have. And you take that and you take it and run with it. You pick something up from this show that you kind of hope it grabs onto and push this show forward. For me, 
that is indeed the ghosts, the anonymies, the spirits, that type of thing. Because interaction with them, occasional hand going in there, because Hannah's obviously a walking plot device, plot right. But that was a solid point for me, and that's what I got in episode three. That's really all episode three was. The fan service of this show looks great, but it, it's not what I'm here. If I watched episode one, you got more of that as from episode one and two. Actually, I would just half it off. This show needs to decide what it's going to be. It's been three episodes, a quarter of the way done. We're going to wait next week and see what episode four does. All I'm saying is this. Eight, eight weeks left in the season. If you see another video about it, then there you go. If you don't, you know what I did. Sorry for the long video, but you know, three episodes are coming. Yo, watch this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see you. Peace out. Spin to the round table.